When Disney Studios acquired 20th Century Fox, one of the uh, the first questions that came to the mind of most fans was, when are we going to see the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and Deadpool in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, since that announcement, they've been teasing us with, uh, in various properties, such as um, Doctor Strange, WandaVision, The Marvels, Spider-Man, No Way Home, uh, and um, we're probably not that far away from finally seeing the entire Fox, Fox universe in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, here we are with Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, which is the third film in the Deadpool series and the return of Wolverine, even though he uh, technically died in Logan. So, how is this possible? Well, Marvel has introduced a little thing called the multiverse into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is basically where you can take any universe, let's say Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is the prime timeline, or as they call it, the sacred timeline, and alternate universes, other things can happen. And they've been explored, as I mentioned in the films and TV shows I mentioned, and in another one, another animated series called What If, uh, where it postulates, like, say, if Peggy Carter became the, uh, took the shield instead of uh, Steve Rogers, or, uh, or if what if a certain character decided not to do one thing and something else happened. So that's basically what the, the multiverse is. And... With Deadpool and Wolverine, they really embraced the concept of the multiverse. Uh, probably even more so than what uh, what Spider-Man uh, No Way Home uh, did. And uh, probably in the same line as far as the, what the uh, What If series has done. Uh, so the uh, in the film, which is directed by Sean Levy, who uh, directed... Uh, Free Guy with uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, Real Steel with uh, Hugh Jackman. And in this film, Deadpool, in his universe, discovers that his timeline is in trouble and he needs to save it. And in order to do so, he needs to find Wolverine. And... Lo and behold, he ends up reaching out and finds a Wolverine from another timeline. And then their adventures begin. Um, this is the non-spoiler review, so I'm not going to go into any further details on a lot of things. I'll save that for the spoiler review. But Deadpool and Wolverine is just, was for me, a very entertaining, funny, uh meta fourth wall breaking gratuitous violent inappropriate um thrill ride fun funny thrill ride that i really enjoyed um i was not expecting this to to be as entertaining it was i mean it the conceit and what unfolds it it had the potential of being an absolute mess but it wasn't it was just a it was really funny that and great introductions of bringing certain characters back and um it basically taps into everything you love about the deadpool character and reynolds performance and um really brings the character into the mcu uh the marvel cinematic universe and reynolds and jackman's chemistry is off the charts and they, they really elevate this film um and the story, although it's threadbare, um, but other movies have done uh, done worse with what little that they had. But this one is like, it's just go along for the ride, don't overthink it, and just have fun seeing these characters in action. Uh, there are, as this is the multiverse, there are obviously great chances of multiple crossovers and if you've read up on the film you might have read about certain ones but there are actually a few that they've managed to keep 
under wraps. And I found either A, really funny, or I thought it was, they were just really cool that they, they managed to pull that off. So um, Deadpool and Wolverine, for me, I would give four stars out of five. It was just a fun and entertaining ride that uh, I'll probably have to go see again just to catch all the jokes that I missed because I was either laughing or, or it was drowned out by the audience laughter. Uh, but it was just a fun ride with great, great characters, great performances by Jackman and Reynolds. It's awesome seeing uh, Hugh Jackman back in action as Wolverine, as a different vari a variant of Wolverine, and it's still just as cool. So uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, four stars out of five. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you can see this in the theater because it was a great audience experience. But either way, whether you watch at home or theater, it's going to be a fun and entertaining ride. So four stars out of five for Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, have you been looking forward to Deadpool and Wolverine? Uh, have you seen it? What, what were your favorite parts? What were your favorite uh, crossovers? Um, what did you not like about the uh, the movie? And what are you looking forward to most for, for the future as, as these characters are introduced to the MCU? Um, if you haven't already done so, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post new reviews and videos. Uh, please like this uh, video if you enjoyed this review. And comment below if you have anything you'd like to share. Uh, all that action will certainly help the algorithm. Give it a little nudge to let, let them know that you actually like this content. And it'll really help this channel grow as we're slowly but surely approaching 1,000 subscribers. So, Deadpool and Wolverine, LFG, four stars out of five.